all want to know where we came from. Everybody asks that question. And also, could life exist elsewhere? A little piece of the puzzle is actually, if you want to look for life on other icy worlds other than Earth, then you have to understand life on Earth first. beautifully simulates how a hydrothermal system under the right pressure and temperatures would flow continually. Everything requires energy input, especially when you're talking about organic synthesis. The great thing about these hydrothermal vents is you have a lot of free energy already there. You really can start to link up these organic molecules and form longer chains, and those longer chains are really the key to getting to DNA synthesis. It's all worth it to really show how you can test these reactions almost to the same scale that you have on the bottom of the ocean. It's very rewarding to see it really come about and come to fruition. We're starting to just explore these icy moons and icy worlds where you could possibly be reproducing the same things that we find on Earth today with these rock-water interactions. So it's important for understanding how do we search for life on other planets and also how did life actually begin here on Earth.